That's two out of three. Everybody in every family with multiple children knows the first son, pff, nobody really cares about. All about the second son, and that's why we're talking about Infamous, the second son. What are you guys going to be delivering? Ooh, Infamous Second Son is a third-person superhero action-adventure exclusive for the PlayStation 4. It is an all-new superhero origin story with this guy, Delson Rowe, who has, in my opinion, the best superpower, the ability to take everyone else's superpower. <laughs> What is it like taking the Infamous franchise and bringing it onto something as powerful as the PlayStation 4? PlayStation 4 lets us make the city of Seattle where the game takes place with total detail. Because everything has like this real texture to it, rain slick pavement looks real and cars look, everything looks real. You get drawn into the world and then when we give you superhuman powers you believe that they're real and even better because of the PlayStation 4 we can make these powers look awesome. Can you break down a little bit about what's happening in the world of Seattle within Infamous Second Son? In Second Son, it's not exactly the real world. Seven years ago, inside of the Infamous universe, people with superhuman abilities suddenly came on the scene and it was devastating. A lot of people died and as a result, society freaked out and they said, look, anybody with these powers, we gotta lock them up. So seven years has passed and now we catch up. Now we're in Second Son. And our hero, Delson Rowe, discovers that he has these powers, so this government agency is hunting him relentlessly. And in order for him to save the people that he loves, he has to find other people with powers. So hopefully he finds some people with powers. I mean, I can only assume there's, there's going to be some crazy new powers, brand new to the world of Infamous. That's correct. And in the past, we've had a guy who had electrical powers, but this time, Delson can absorb the powers of other superhumans when he comes in contact with them. He starts out with smoke, later on he gets neon, and then he gets more as the game continues. When it comes to conduits, it's my call. Not yours, not ours, my. It's always fun to get to explore and go out and not necessarily do the mission at hand, but just check out all the nooks and crannies like you mentioned that you guys yeah, have yeah, paid yeah. homage to. How, how fun is that for you guys just to get lost in this world? Oh, dude. For me, open world games, the chief joy is making my own path, discovering things that are hidden there. And in our version of Seattle, we put a lot of energy into that. You know, there are all sorts of mysteries to kind of uncover. But even better, the, uh, the DUP that's hunting you down, they put the city into complete lockdown. Picture the whole city put down into this airport style lockdown, where if you want to go down the street, you have to pass through a scanner. And it's all in the name of finding these conduits. But Delson can just trash that stuff. And there are all sorts of fun ways for him to say, get the security out of my home, and he just wins back the freedom for the people of Seattle.